Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This video is called Look What Some Christians Say to One Another. I have a young Christian friend. Um, she's a teenager. And she lives in fear every day. You might be thinking, fear of what? Well, she's afraid she's going to hell. And why? Why is she afraid? Why is she terrified? Let me tell you why. Because other Christians keep telling her that she's going to go to hell. Wow. What kind of preaching is that? Since when is it okay for a chosen one to tell another chosen one that they're going to hell when they're chosen by God? That's got to be some of the worst preaching on planet Earth. There's probably nothing worse than you can teach than to tell another chosen one that Jesus died for on the cross that they're going to hell. And because she's a teenager and she's a little bit newer with the Lord, she hasn't read the Bible enough yet. She's just starting to get to know God. She's just starting to get to know Jesus. It's really incredible. Incredible grace from God raining down on her life. But because she's brand new with the Bible, brand new with the Lord, she has been believing these other Christians, and now they convinced her that she's going to hell. And I talk with her, and I talk with her on the Internet, and I spend time with her. What right do you have to tell someone else they're going to hell? What right do you have? Who told you this is okay to do? Who told you in the Bible this is okay to do? How dare you tell other chosen ones that they're going to hell when Jesus went through hours and hours of torture for her? How dare you? How dare you spit on the blood of Jesus Christ that's covering her? How dare you tell people they're going to hell? What pride does it take for you to think you're going to heaven, but it's okay to tell other people that they're going to hell? What level of pride is that? That rivals even the demons. You have no idea who is going to heaven and who is going to hell. You cannot see in the spirit realm. You cannot see if she's born again. You cannot see the Holy Spirit living inside of her spirit. You cannot see Jesus' spirit living inside of her heart. You don't have that gift. You cannot see in the spirit who's a chosen one and who isn't. So how dare you? How dare you tell other people that they're going to hell? You're hurting people. By the way, this was done to me by, by one or more of my old elders when they told me that I'm going to hell in the lake of fire. I cannot tell you how badly they hurt me. They hurt me so badly, words cannot explain it. When your elders are telling you that you're going to the lake of fire, that hurts. That hurts really, really badly. And I have gone through this myself. And now my younger friend is going through this because she's talking with Christians who are telling her 
that she's going to the lake of fire, even though she exhibits being born again without a doubt, she has a new love for Jesus, she has a new love for the Bible, she's doing Christian drawings and Christian paintings, she wants to please God, she's exhibiting being born again as much as anyone else I've ever seen, yet there are Christians out there telling her that she's going to hell and the lake of fire. Wow. What a terrible way of preaching to people. What arrogance to claim that you know who's going to heaven and who isn't? You're actually claiming you know? We have to stop this. We have to stop this right now. We got to stop thinking this way that we, that we know we can tell people they're going to heaven. We have to stop preaching this way. We have to stop thinking this way, talking this way, doing videos, articles, movies, and everything else. We got to stop. We got to stop this insanity right now. God and God only knows who he has chosen. Nobody else knows. I'm talking about human beings. Don't you ever, ever tell people they're going to hell again because you don't know and you are not God. You are looking at the outward appearance of people and God is looking at the heart. And that is the difference between you and God. That is the difference right there. You are looking outward and God is looking inward. And you are preaching from an outward perspective, which is demonic and prideful and fleshly. And it's your ego and it's your self-righteousness that's doing this when God is looking inward at our heart. God is looking inward at my heart when my elders were telling me that I'm going to the lake of fire. And God is looking inward at this young lady's heart while some of her Christian friends are telling her that she's going to the lake of fire. How quick you are to send us to the lake. Elders of God, how quick you were to send me to the lake. How quick you are to send other people to the lake of fire. I am so happy you are not God. Wow. Christians, I don't care what country you're in. I don't care what language you speak. You have to stop doing this. Don't you dare tell another person they're going to hell in the lake of fire again. Don't you dare do that. 